folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Today's video is another Stephen King Sunday and today's video I'm going to answer a couple questions and show you guys my current collection of the hotter paperback Stephen Kings that I get asked questions about non-stop. So I'm going to answer a few of the most asked questions, then I'm going to show you guys each individual book that I have. I'm going to pull them all down, what the covers look like and all that stuff because I have acquired quite a few of them. My current count is 27 um, of these editions and I kind of want to show you guys because I'm going to take a little bit of a hiatus from collecting them so I figured this would be a good time to kind of show you guys my updated collection whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to answer just a couple of questions that come off the top of my head that I get asked non-stop, um, at least on a daily basis between my YouTube and my Instagram. It's gotten a lot to answer them, so I am just going to answer them all here. First question is, what edition are they? So they are the hotter editions. They look like this. They were originally released in the UK, which means I have to order them all um, online and have them shipped to me pretty much all from the UK. That's where the majority of them are. They were a release in 2007 which means that they are not being printed anymore which is why they're sort of like a collector's item yeah that's why I want to collect them <laughs> them because of the beautiful rainbow spines as well they are pretty much the most beautiful Stephen King's in terms of like a whole spine collection there's definitely other editions of his books that I prefer the covers of more um, a lot of the older ones are really cool like kind of spooky and like just fun and so yeah I like those as well but these ones in terms of like aesthetics are to me the most beautiful and uh you know once you have the big rainbow up it's just it's gorgeous another big question i get asked is how many are there and do you have them all um i definitely don't have them all i currently have 27 i believe i think that was my last count and i believe there are 46 possibly 48 um different versions in this cover and, um i am collecting the soft cover mass market paperback editions there are hard covers of these however they're even more expensive than these ones are and they're even more hard to find so um i like them that's the size that i've collected that's that. I do get a couple questions about what these ones are, the black ones. Um, they're just the same sort of additions. It's just, I'll, I'll show you them when I pull them down, but they look a little bit different from the other ones. I'm not sure why. A few more questions is how do I find them? I use Google. How can I find the master list? Again, I used Google and compiled a list over the course of a couple weeks as to which ones there were a copy of, which ones there weren't. I just did a lot of research and I feel like all that information is readily available if you choose to do that research as well. I am still collecting them, so I don't feel like sharing the individual ISBNs of where you can get them and what they are, just because I currently am a collector as well and the more people that are collecting these unfortunately the less there are for everyone to have because there's only a certain number of them that exist really until I've personally have collected them all I'm not going to be sharing my big master list of all the ISBNs because um, competition and I want to outbid all y'all on the ebays so <laughs> fight me I'm just kidding <laughs> but seriously <laughs> fight me <laughs> but yeah the list of books that I found Definitely just came from researching and uh, Googling and stuff. Where I get them, I get a lot of them from Amazon.ca. They come in from the UK. The price can depend on the book, the popularity of the book, the size of it. Um, a lot of them are just a few cents. Some of them right now are like $100 depending on uh, how rare they are to find. And so a lot of the ones that I've collected, the most expensive one so far I think has been about in the $20 range. There's definitely ones that I still have to collect that are, like I mentioned, like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, 120 bucks. Um, will I spend that money? I don't know. I'm sort of a completionist in that I want to collect them all, but like that's just a lot of money for a book. So um, maybe eventually I'll have all of them that I know exist, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, that covers the majority of the questions that I get. Um, 
yeah i just i get questions every single day about them or like where can i find this one edition i'm like google my friend google um another question that i kind of got asked actually is why do i organize them in rainbow order instead of book order or alphabetically i'm going to show you just for shits what they would look like um if you were to do them in publication order which is what i'm reading them in it's god awful ugly because it doesn't match the rainbow and so i'll show you but it's it's not pretty all right so I pulled them all down and I'm going to show you guys what they would look like if I put them up in publication order um, At least the books again that I own first one I have here is Carrie Carrie has the red spine and has sort of the prom Couple so next up we have Salem's Lot some of them have white spines and colorful covers I don't know why again. I don't know some of them do some of them don't I don't know. It does say Salem's Lot right there. Um, on the front of this one, it does have the Marsden House. All of the books have some sort of symbol on them that stands for something in the book. Now, I haven't read all Kings, so I don't know all of them in terms of what they mean to the story, but it's kind of exciting to find out sort of as you're reading it what the symbols mean. Um, but Salem's Lot is the second book. So like already, it looks ugly. I have The Shining, which has the white cover, the sort of mustard yellow spine, and that has the wasp on the front. So next up we have the Bachman books, which all the ones under Richard Bachman, which is Stephen King, by the way, um, are in this sort of black cover, which there's a couple more that I'll show. Bachman books does include um, a couple stories that repeat themselves as individual books that I have as well. So when it comes to reading them, um, I think I might just read the individual books. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I wanted to collect them all. So this is the really cool sort of like lilac purple one. There's not too many purple ones. So that's why I'm kind of into that. Eh. Already looking pretty fog. The fifth one is The Stand. This is the biggest one and this one has the crow on the cover. Beautiful sort of lime green spine. This is the one that I'm currently reading. Fuck my life, it's taking me forever to read it. And we have Night Shift which like has sort of a teal green scarecrow. I don't know what that's about. Then after that we have The Dead Zone which has the pink spine in font and this sort of uh, swingy ferris wheel kind of thing. Um, I'm real curious about this, what that has to do, if there's a spooky element to that. I have Firestarter, which has the matches. I do know a little bit about Firestarter, so that's kind of cool. Really love the sort of like reddy orange spine on this one. Um, just goes well with the matches on the front. Next is Cujo. I think most of us know what Cujo is about. It's about a rabid Saint Bernard, and so his little tongue matches the color of this, which I think is so funny. This is another sort of mustardy yellow spine. So already you can see just how weird it looks, not in the rainbow order. I don't know, it just bugs me. I get it that it would bug other people, but I, I can't do it. Next up is a Bachman book that is The Running Man. This is sort of a blue. Um, you can see that it has the black cover because it's written as Bachman little tiny one again that is also in the Bachman books but different seasons which has this beautiful sort of bright Kelly green um, this one has the pot leaf on the train tracks I forget what that's about I will read it and find out and let you know and then we have Christine and Christine is one of the weird ones that has both a colored spine and a colored cover it has the car for those of you who don't know Christine is about sort of like a killer car from the 50s so it's kind of obvious that the car would be on there spine is more of like an orangey orangey red then I have pet cemetery which has um, the little grave marker for the cat um, pet cemetery so it makes sense and that one has the pink spine next is one that is a collaboration so this is the one that has sort of the weird spine on it that has both Stephen King and Peter Straub um, this is the talisman chessboard it's also nice and bright and purple, so that's one of the only ones that has like that sort of color on it, which I really like. And we have Thinner, again, also a Bachman book, and that's sort of the brighter mustardy orangey kind of color. It almost matches my hair, pretty much. Yeah, 
two editions of Skeleton Crew. Now, I still don't know, again, like I mentioned at the beginning, why there is two versions of some books. Um, I'm not too sure about that. This one is sort of like the movie version that also has featuring The Mist, um, which is sort of like the movie cover of this. Then I have Just Skeleton Crew that has um, the dock on the front. And this one is, again, one of the ones that has both a colorful spine and a colorful, like, front cover in this sort of light blue. Again, I don't know why they did certain things with certain covers and not the other ones. I uh, do know that this one also has The Mist, and I'm pretty sure that this is the exact same book. Which one I decide to annotate and read, I don't really know. Um... Yeah, I'll probably just pick one that I like better and then <laughs> go from there. And I really like that these ones have like the gold font on the edge. I just think that's like super pretty to me. Next is a big one. This is It has the balloon classic. Oh shit. So yeah, this is actually bigger than the stand. So I take that back. This is 1,376 pages. So there's an extra about 50 pages in It than there is in the stand so i was wrong this is now currently the biggest book that i own however the stand was the biggest book that i hadn't read yet then after it king released misery which has the typewriter very very iconic if you know misery this one is in this beautiful sort of brighter i don't even know how to describe that blue it's so like striking i love it um, so that one goes beside it and that's sort of the only like section where a couple of the books start to like match each other But then it changes into something else. It's kind of weird So then those are the only ones that sort of fit up there. So the other ones I'll stack <laughs> But yeah, you can see that the rainbow is very weird if you actually um, Organize them by release date. So next is eyes of the dragon. This one has the sort of like fortress I believe this is king sort of fantasy work. So that would make sense to me um, This is another sort of bright blue very similar to the color of misery, but slightly different but like very slight so um, then there's a bunch that I haven't collected So there's like five or six in the middle that I need to collect But the next one that I own is Dolores Claiborne that has the rocking chair with the little doll, I believe. Um, this is another one that is sort of like colorful on the front and on the spine as well in this sort of like beigey brown color. It's almost like a mustard color, but it's more of a brown. So after Dolores Claiborne in 1993, King released Nightmares and Dreamscapes in 1993 as well. This one is probably in the best quality of all the ones that I've received. It's completely clean on the front, no cracking, and it's just stunning. So this one has the toad or the frog, I forget. <laughs> and this one is another like bright green cover. The spine. And then we have another Bachman book. This is The Regulators. I have to take the stickers off of this, but this is another like bright green one with the black cover um, and the, um, the sort of desert. Is it Bag of Bones? Again, I have to take the sticker off of this. This also has like a creepy ass bird. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. So I have not read this one and I don't know much about it. So I don't know. <laughs> um, this one has sort of more of a darker foresty kind of green. Then one of King's smaller books, that is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. This one has the cassette um, in it. And again, very tiny, but sort of more of like a sea foamy, mossy kind of green. And then lastly of my collection, and there's a bunch after this one that I need to collect, I have two copies of Everything's Eventual. Again, I think that this is just sort of a copy that has the movie title for what was sort of being aired at the time, which is why it's in the um, the gold. And then this one is the other edition, um, also has the sort of purple cover, purple spine, and this sort of like grape purple and uh, has the lighthouse on it. So the exact same book. So that is kind of how it would look like if I put them in publication order. It's ugly, so I'm gonna put them back in beautiful rainbow order. I do hope you guys kind of like sort of an overview of my hotter collection. Yeah, I do hope you guys like this video and until my next one, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.